Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rahanna. We're going to play more Gaku in Heaven 2 today. Uh, I just want to say if there's any weird noises in the background, I apologize for that in advance. I record next to a window and I have these horrible neighbors who leave their dog outside all day and it's just constantly, it's not even like howling, it's like screaming because it's so frustrated and wants to go inside and wants attention and there's literally nothing I can do about it. So if you hear that, I'm really sorry. Um, I'm really sorry for the dog, but there's nothing that can be done. So... Uh, aside from that, today we're going to pick up with the Omake Part 2. So these are the bonus scenes that get unlocked once you finish everything else in the game. And you have to play them in order. So last time we did the fishing one, which um, you know was really cute and combined uh, up some interesting characters. And the same with uh, the next one. You can see from the, the little text bubble guy here showing who's going to appear in this scene. And you can tell because it's got Okaken, it's definitely going to be some sort of weirdness uh, going on here. And I like that Okaken gets included in this scene because he is an interesting character, even though he's not someone you can pursue for romance. I just like him because he's quirky, he's cute, he's kind of obnoxious. And then if you take a peek at episode three, which we're not going to do yet... Uh, that'll be the next one. You can see that Dorotan is one of the people who's included. And I like him too because he's cute and he's derp and he's silly. So it's it's fun to see that some of the other new characters from this game got to be included instead of just the the primary characters who you can, can pursue and find uh, romance with. So we're going to go with episode two. And this episode is called Summoning. <laughs> so humming. Ah, <sighs> Ah, the weather is so nice. It's a peaceful, ordinary day. It's like the crisis the school was in recently never happened. I'm not busy with student council work, so let's fully enjoy this peaceful day. Hmm? Something was shining up there. What could it be? It looks like there's someone up on the roof. Yuki. Oh, it's you, Tomo. What are you doing? That's pet. And that's Maro, isn't it? It's Arashi-san's pet. Ah. Yeah. Why do you have Maro? Why do you Why do you have Maro? Because I was asked to bring him along. Arata-san? By Arata-san? Yeah. No. Then, then by who? Um, it would take a while to explain. Yuki, do you have time right Yuki, do you have time right now? Yeah, I don't really have anything special to do. Then come with me. Huh? You'll see when you get there. So where are we going? The roof. Okaken, I borrowed Arata-san's weasel. Poor, poor uh, Maro, always being called a weasel instead of a ferret. Boing. Oh, Maro. Oh, Maro. Oh, Maro-kun, waitin'. Ah, Maro-kun, we've been waiting. He's here, he's here. Okaken? Sore ni Joker-san. Okaken and Joker-san. Asahina-kun, kimi mo ii tokoro ni kita. You're here just in time. You're about to be able to witness something amazing. Yeah, Yuki-kun. Kimi mo kai? Hey, Yuki-kun. You came to observe too? Hi. Tomo ni sasawarete. Yeah, Tomo invited me. Eh? Kimi ga tsurete kitanda. Wow, so you brought him. Setsumei suru no ga mendou datta nde. Tsuide ni. Explaining would have been too annoying, so I just kind of. I love how just everything with Tomo is just is too annoying. Well, this sort of thing is better with more manpower. So what is this? He said it was some sort of experiment. 
マロンにオカケンにジョーカーさんオカケンは謎の機械みたいなのいじってるし With Maro and Okaken and Joker-san, and Okaken's fiddling with a mysterious machine. So remember, Okaken's thing is that he likes to do research into occult type stuff, so he's always doing kind of shady, weird experiments and things, trying to get in contact with aliens. So you can just see that this is、uh, not going to end well. Hmm, no matter how much I try, there's a tricky error in the calculation. Never mind that, why don't you just try it? いやいやここの調整が成功の鍵を握っているのだ慎重に慎重を重ねなくては No no these adjustments hold the key to success I have to carefully go over them again and again なんかオカケンすごく気合が入ってるな Somehow オカケン is really fired up ちなみに今オカちゃんが調整してるのは発射台だよ By the way, what Okachan's adjusting right now is the launch pad. Experiment, launching pad, and you need Maro? No way. Oh, you get it. We're going to launch the weasel high into the sky from there. What? You can't. Absolutely no. Tomo, did you bring Maro knowing they were going to do something so horrible? <laughs> What's so funny? Launching Maro, I'll never let you do something like that. Yeah, no, listen, Yuki, calm down. How can I be calm with this? <sighs> Cut it out and start paying attention. That was one of Joker san's usual jokes just now. Huh? Huh? It was a joke? <laughs> it really is worth teasing you. So when you said you're launching Maro. Uso, uso. So n a koto suru wa ke nai jan. That was a lie. I wouldn't do something like that. Despite how I may seem, I'm an animal lover.、ね、I wouldn't do something like that to such a cute little guy. Right, Maro kun? <sighs> yeah, I'm not so sure. <sighs> Thank goodness. ま、Still, you tricked me again. So then, why do you need Maro? It seems he's going to act in place of the radar for the experiment. Kasahara kun, this isn't an experiment, it's a summoning. Maro kun o karite kita noa, hoka demo nai. I borrowed Maro kun for one reason. That is, to utilize the special ability the gauges I prepared don't have. A special ability that Maro has? So, Maro kun には長い進化の中、人類が失ってしまった特殊能力が備わっているのだ。And you can just tell from the background music that this is getting into nonsense territory. Yes, Maro kun possesses a special ability that humans have lost in their long evolution. The sixth sense, in short, animal intuition. Oh, I see. He doesn't have to act so self important about it. Especially a ferret. 
because even while they're pets, compared to dogs and cats, they still have their car carnivore instincts intact. He'll be extraordinarily excellent as a radar. Oh, he's running around the launch pad. Does that mean he senses something strange? Um, he just looks like he's playfully running around to me. We're finally about to step into the realm of the unknown, leading humanity to a new era. Alright, I'll do the final check. Electric pulse, light pulse, no abnormalities, and then... This device's transmission signal and the radar reception signal, check. Perfect. And the Geos is at 45,000 nano Teslas. Currently, sunspot activity appears to be normal. I have no idea what you're saying. He seems to be off in his own world. Uh, so what is this? He said it was summoning. Don't ask me. Unidentified flying object. Thanks, Joker. Uh, poor Yuki can't pronounce all that. UFO. Taking the initials, it's UFO. 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 You mean a UFO? And it's it's kind of weird. It doesn't really work in the translation, but um, the way that a Japanese person would pronounce UFO would be UFO, like just one word like an actual word, instead of saying the letters like an acronym. So to Yuki, UFO doesn't mean anything, really. He has to kind of think about it and be like, oh, you mean UFO, like UFO is its own separate word that's used for spaceship. So, Oka-chan wa sore o yobun da ってさ. Right, that's what Oka-chan is calling. UFO? UFO. I'm just going to say UFO because... He can call something like that? So? Who knows? Things would get interesting if one really did come. Sorry about that. I uh, accidentally clicked on the wrong screen there. I was trying to scroll down in my script. But what was cut off there... Joker is saying, things would get interesting if one really did come. And Yuki says, that's amazing. Is Okaken really serious? And Joker says, he seems very serious. Still, he's what you would call a waste of talent. So yeah, that whole mind is a terrible thing to waste because um, I think some other characters have pointed it out too that uh, Okaken is extremely smart, but he tends to use his brain for things that are... Well, you know, most people look at them and be like, that's a waste of time. That's crazy. So he's very serious about it, but... <laughs> it's true he's smart, but the way he uses it and the direction are completely wrong. You're right. Apart from PE, Okaken is in all ultimate classes. And I think he may even be in some slightly more advanced classes. It's mentioned that he's in Joker's math class, which is a second year ultimate class. And uh, Okaken's a first year, so he's really advanced. Come to think of it, what was he recognized for that got him into the school? 
自作したからとかなんとかって話だぞ。I heard it's because he created a high dimensional search tool or something or other. And that's actually a real thing. If you look that up, high dimensional search tool, you can find out information about that. It's beyond me, but it's kind of interesting to read about it. A high dimensional search tool? Is that the thing Okuken's fiddling with right now? Probably. What kind of thing is it? No, I don't really get it either. 二次元情報と三次元情報の両方を合わせた次世代検索ツールって話だよ。It's a next generation search tool that combines two dimensional information with three dimensional information. That's what I've heard. 二次元と三次元を合わせた全く意味がわからないよ。It combines two dimensions and three dimensions? That doesn't make any sense. それが普通だって。That's normal. I asked for details too, but I couldn't understand it at all. It seems to be a subject among experts who say it's an innovative concept. But the concept is too unconventional and it's not suited to practical application. Basically, it seems like it catches even things it shouldn't. Things it shouldn't. Like ghosts. Huh? Ghosts? That's right. It seems like it. That's why people other than Okaken can't use it, is what I've heard. I see. でもオカケンってすごいやつだったんだな。But Okaken is pretty amazing. そのすごい技術をこんなことに使うなんてなんかもったいないような。And using such amazing technology for stuff like this is kind of a waste. 間違ってるというよりそっちの方向を追求したからこそ出せた結果だと思うけどね。Rather than saying it's wrong, I think it's because he's pursuing this direction that he's gotten results. もともと彼は存在しないものを証明するのが目的だったみたいだし。From the start, it was like his goal was to prove the existence of things that don't exist. So, なんですか Really? 彼に聞いた話だと、確か子供の頃、怪奇現象にあったのがきっかけらしいよ。According to what he's told me, it seems it started when he encountered a bizarre phenomenon when he was a kid. ユーマとか幽霊とか、異次元とかを検知する装置を作る過程でできちゃったんだってさ。He did it in the process of creating devices to detect UMAs, ghosts, and different dimensions. まさに、天才と何とかは紙一重ってやつだね。He really is one where there's a fine line between genius and something. Probably madness. ただの真面目な研究者じゃたどり着けないところにまで行ける可能性を彼は秘めてる。He harbors the potential to get to places that an ordinary serious researcher couldn't reach. Really, I'll never get tired of watching someone like Okachan. So, this is the first time I've ever been here. I'm going to be a little bit of 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 I think he's much better than guys who act and speak while watching for other people's expressions. So, in other words, you know, tailoring what they're saying to the reactions of other people wanting approval and such. It's more interesting to watch people who put their own free ideas into action however they like. Well, it is like Okaken to go his own way. なんかオカケンがちょっとかっこよく思えてきました。I kind of think オカケン is a little cool now。本気でそう思うのか ？Do you seriously think so? Look at Tomo's face。気のせいかな。Maybe it's my imagination。気のせいだって。It is your imagination。And I'm going to stop here. We're hitting about twenty minutes.、Um... And this scene actually goes on for quite a bit longer, so there's no way I could do it all in one shot. This is also one of the 
the bonus scenes where there are choices that you can make. So I'm going to show all the different variations of what happens in the conversation, depending on the choices you make. And this one's actually kind of nice because you can, uh, unlike the one with the fishing, where um, if you make a certain choice, you know, you, you get an alternate scene depending on what you chose before. In this one, you get to make two separate choices. So even though the choices can be interconnected, they can also be played separately. So there won't be any needing to splice videos together to show um, what happens if you picked choice A, then you get reaction A. This time you get choice A, B, C, D, and then later you get choice A, B, C, D. So lots of variation, no being kind of forced into uh, an extra scene there. Um, yeah. So I actually really like this scene. I think of the, of the three bonus scenes, this one might be my favorite because it's, uh, you do get those choices and they're pretty funny. And actually some of them give you some interesting information. Like when you, when we get the choice to talk to the different characters who show up to participate in this scene, um, Okakens is really enlightening. It gives you a lot of interesting backstory to his character that's not contained in the main part of the game. So that's, that's a fun little thing to look forward to. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave it here for today. Sorry if it was a little rusty. It's been a while since I've done one of these, obviously, but, um, I'm going to keep on with this scene until it's finished. And then of course we'll continue through to uh, bonus scene or omake number three, and then we'll be all done with Gakuen Heaven 2, at least for now. So, um, thank you for watching. Thanks for putting up with my, uh, mistakes in here. And hopefully there wasn't too much noise in the background. So again, I apologize if you heard any, uh, weird stuff in the background. I do my best to minimize that by recording during certain times of the day, but it doesn't always work out because my neighbors are jerks and always leave the dog outside. So anyway, enough about that. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.